In Tarkov, there's ratting, exit camping, and then there's this. What I'm doing here is showing how long it takes to make 1 million rubles just from buying items below their vendor price. There are hundreds of items, from barter goods to armor pieces to weapons and weapon mods that are consistently being listed to the flea market for less than what a vendor would pay for them. I think part of this is because most players are limited to listing only two items at a time and are incentivized to sell their items fast, grind their trade rep, and free up inventory space, but it's also because figuring out an item's maximum vendor price is a tedious task in Tarkov, and unlike most MMOs, auction houses, the flea market doesn't give any hints to an item's vendor price before you go to list it. Most players probably think this sort of low margin arbitrage would be dominated by bots. I'm not a particularly fast auction house sniper, and I'm only checking a small fraction of the insane amount of items in this game, but I'm still making more money than I would be running out in Camping Factory Gate 3 waiting for my scav cooldown. So... I'll take it. When I finally hit level 15 and unlocked the flea market, I thought it would make bank from listing all these barter goods I hoarded in my standard edition stash, only to realize that the listing fees are exponential and tied to the vendor price of an item. There were only a handful of items that actually made sense to list, and even if I was willing to wait hours for something just to sell at a higher price when demand surges, the fees were so high that it made more sense to vendor everything and free up inventory space. During this whole process of figuring out what all this junk was actually worth, I realized most of the items that I was hoarding were occasionally being listed for a few thousand rubles below what therapists would pay. So I checked this Tarkov market website, sorted the items by their vendor price, and compared against the item's average flea market price. Any items where these values were close, I added them to my wish list and made a little spreadsheet to help memorize their price. With my middle finger on F5 and my index finger on Y, I click through my wish list and snipe anything below vendor price. When I run out of inventory space or rubles, I vendor everything and repeat the process. This effort here represents more of a proof of concept than perfection of a technique, and I hope someone out there sees this and is inspired to get loaded without ever risking anything, or raiding, or doing anything but selling other people's sh to vendors. In one hour, I've made one million rubles.